Okay, I wake up at 6 a.m. to do some work. Oh. I get my coffee. I sit down. I open my computer. And what am I greeted with? Well, hundreds of comments calling me a deadbeat dad, a child abandoner, and all manner of other insults. So I think, what's this all about? Well, after a few minutes of investigation, I discover that my daughter, Maddie, has made a video about me. She's a screenwriter in Hollywood. She's also a big social media influencer with millions of followers. Some of her videos get millions of views. And this video has tens of millions of views. One million uh -oh. likes, 20,000 comments, 40,000 bookmarks, 30,000 reposts. It's just insane. So I thought I'd better watch this video. And frankly, I was pretty chagrined by what I heard, to say the least. But honestly, okay, here we go. the more I watch this video, the more I like it. Well, I like about 98% of it. However, I do need to correct a few statements in the video. But first, let's just watch Maddie's 90 second video. And then I'll give you my comments. What's a piece of trauma that you have that's funny? It has to actually be funny. I'll go first. My dad abandoned my family when I was five years old. That is um, a wife and four kids. He abandoned us and then pursued amateur breakdancing. Some more context is needed here. Needless to say, I will, uh, I will talk about this in a moment. All right, let's continue with the video. And he got really good. <laughs> he like blew up. Like he became like a D-list celebrity status, like viral breakdancer. He became like the oldest actively competing breakdancer in the world. Then he got on Good Morning America and talk shows and Washington Post wrote about him and he went super viral and he did all these interviews and he danced with Paula Abdul. And here, I'll show you. Let's see, take a look at this 60 year old breakdancer. Yes, 60 years old. Philadelphia, and he may not have won, but he, I tell you what, he is winning over a lot of people on the internet. It's impressive. He really is. Yeah. Yep. He's winning a lot of people on the internet. This guy wouldn't pay my medical bills. That is not true. There was no split custody or anything. Like, he just, like, left four kids to do that. He may not have paid for some of my medical bills growing up, but he did give me this breakdancing merchandise. So that's him. He's on his that is a nice shirt. It's his b-boy name because his name is Ben Hart. You know, I'll get texts like this. Uh -huh. Happy birthday, question mark. And then like links to his to his breakdancing video. That's true. Oh, you have funny trauma, like actual funny haha -ha trauma. I need to hear it. Thank you. Okay, in many ways, I love this video. And of course, I love my daughter, Maddie. And we get along great. At least I think we do. But a few corrections are in order, or at least a few things that need to be put in context. First, I can see that as a five-year-old, Maddie would see her dad as having abandoned the family. One day I was living there, the next day I wasn't. And that will look like abandonment to a child. But married couples do get divorced about half the time in America. Ooh, and that I sucks. was just living a mile or so down the street in LaGrange, Illinois. We just weren't living under the same roof. Now, about not paying medical that bills, sucks. that's just not correct. Here was the financial arrangement of the divorce. Maddie's <laughs> mom, my ex-wife, got $2 million at the get-go, out of the gate. And this girl's complaining? A lump sum payment. Plus, I was paying her $18,000 per month in child support and alimony. This was Oh my god. <clears throat> That's incredible. It was later reduced to $12,000 per month. Only 12,000. I paid health insurance and out-of-pocket medical costs. Yeah. I also put $600,000 into the kids' college fund. In all, I paid Wait, out wait, what? And of course, I paid health insurance and out-of-pocket medical costs. I also put six hundred thousand dollars. Six hundred thousand. Okay, that's a lot of money. Into the kids' college fund. In all, I paid out about five million dollars to my ex-wife to cover costs for her and the kids. And this is in two thousand five dollars. So add fifty percent to account for inflation. Bro, that's probably a hundred percent. Two thousand and five. Holy shit! In other words, I was not a deadbeat dad at all. And by the way, Maddie did not say that in her video. But a lot of the comments assume that and say that. That's crazy. 
Imagine paying out five million dollars and still getting roasted on TikTok. Now, of course, there was no way for Maddie. Like, to I'm gonna be real. Like, if I had to pay out five fucking million dollars to some ex-wife for some bullshit, I would find fucking Paul too. That shit must be stressful. Holy shit! Well, how much I was paying because she was a kid. This wasn't something I talked about. Yeah, of course. Also, remember that I was living one mile down the road from the kids in Lagrange, Illinois. Yeah. Sidewalks all the way. An easy walk or bike ride. I saw the kids all the time. No abandonment, just a divorce. Was I at fault in the divorce? Yeah, I would say it was about 70% at fault. I own that. Maddie's mom and I were really not compatible in many ways. Okay. We were compatible in some ways, but not in other ways. Do I regret marrying Maddie's mom? No, absolutely not. If I had not married Maddie's mom, Maddie and her three siblings would not have been born. They would not have existed. The what kids nice have turned guy. out great. Maddie graduated from Northwestern University and is a screenwriter in Hollywood. Maddie's older sister Tori is a partner at a hedge fund on Wall Street, and she's mm -hmm. getting rich. Maddie's younger sister Olivia just graduated from college and is teaching English to first graders in Thailand. Good for her. Her older brother Peter is getting a master's degree in psychology. I get along great with all my kids, including Maddie. At least I think I do. So the kids are doing just... God, this guy is... Oh, he is cooking. Oh, jeez. Just fine despite Dad's many oh, shortcomings. No. One other slight correction, which I hesitate to even bring up, because I love the way Maddie did this in her video. I did not abandon the family for breakdancing. I have a career. I'm in the advertising business. Built an ad agency. That's how yeah, I... Yeah, because that makes sense. Because, you know, like the $5 million thing. I was able to afford to pay Maddie's mom $5 million. Privileged daughter in Hollywood, living a dream life. Gotta act like her upbringing was so unfair and traumatic. She's so special. Bro, has there ever been a bigger true... Like, that is you, like, one fucking hundred percent. abso fucking lootly dude. Maddie's mom and I separated in 2004 and divorced in 2005. I took up breakdancing entirely by accident in 2012 as a way to get in shape at the age of 54. Mm. I then just kept doing it. I'm now age 66. Now, some of you might be wondering... Can't, He's in good shape for being 66, man. Can he still break dance at age 66? Well, I don't know. Let's see. I'll give it a try. <laughs> okay, Maddie. Let's see how the old man does. No way. And you can tell that he's actually her dad because he's even going... Because this is like the kind of thing that, that dads will do to like embarrass their, their daughter. You know, like... It's like the first time their daughter goes to high school, the dad tries to wear a fanny pack or something like that with, like, his hat on backwards to, like, really embarrass her as much as possible, like, meeting all of her friends. Like, and he's still doing it. Yeah, he's still fucking doing it. Is that a Christmas tree? <sighs> the main point is that it's never too late to start breakdancing. I started when I was age 54. I'm now- That's nuts. The dude is athletic, yeah age 66 so there's really no excuse for anyone not to be breakdancing so the bottom line is this at first i really oh did God. not like maddie's <clears throat> video at all 
But I was biased by all the negative comments that I was greeted with at 6 a.m. in the morning in my social media feed. Oh. But the more I watch the video, the more I like it. And her video certainly is true from her perspective, even though a few details are off. No doubt because of what she heard from her mom. And I do think it's a great... I love it. Storyline that a 54-year-old dude left his family to pursue breakdancing, yeah. even if not quite true, factually. But perhaps it speaks to a bigger truth, a truth that is really truer than the actual facts of the matter. This could be a very funny movie plot. So maybe Maddie will make this movie about her 66-year-old breakdancing dad. Also, as I scroll through the 12,000 comments on Maddie's video, I really like most of them. Some are hilarious. Here are a few I'll read at random. This one is from someone named Ro, and she says, My mom abandoned me as a kid to join a renaissance fair across the country. This is from Maria. I didn't know my dad was bald until my mom knocked his toupee off in a fight when I was 10. My mom didn't know he was bald then until that moment. This is from Diane. In foster what care the mandated fuck? therapy, the therapist told me I had abandonment issues and then stopped showing up to the sessions. I never saw her again. This one's from Bravo. My mom died the week of Mother's Day, and my father died on Father's Day weekend. It's honestly so typical of both of them. This is from <laughs> Clover. My dad tried to kidnap me and ran out of gas while following us. This one from Chris Shell. I had to be my mom's boss at Dairy Queen when I was 17 and had to fire her for smoking while working the drive through You think that person lives in Florida or Alabama? Yeah, it could be Texas. You're right. Becca says, when my grandma passed away, my grandpa moved into a senior's home, met another woman, and brought her as a date to the funeral. Here's... Jesus! Someone who says, a video of my dad was featured in an episode of World's Dumbest Criminals. <laughs> I love you, Maddie. You are very creative and talented. Keep doing exactly what you're doing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy shit. This dude had to pay five million dollars in a divorce and he's still breakdancing. Oh, he's got another he's got another girlfriend. I can see why the mom was mad. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I see I see the problem here. I'll probably delete this in the morning because like I don't actually okay. have like bad will I posted my video because it's a very funny story It's very silly. Um, I like to laugh at my trauma instead of like being super sad about it But I know my dad posted like a 10 minute video or whatever being like, you know, my daughter's lying We have a great relationship. I have a great relationship with all my kids That's just objectively not true Like guys, we're all freaking out about this in my family group chat right now We're being like he's so unhinged and delusional we don't know if he actually believes his own narrative or if he's lying on purpose, but he's just like a weird guy. Yeah, he said he lived down the street from us. That's not true. Or like if he did, it was only for a few months maybe, but actually for most of my childhood, he lived in Florida with his new wife. Like basically like, I don't want to get into this. Like again, like my video was basically like sanitizing the situation and like poking fun at the lightest parts of that childhood trauma. Uh -huh. But obviously in real life, it was a lot more like complicated and traumatic and it was yeah. really hard. He left us, immediately married another woman. We didn't hear from him for years. And then he would visit every few months and we'd go out to dinner. But like, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give like what I think probably happened. I think that he started dating this hot chick and 
the mom didn't like that. And so he probably didn't get a lot of chances to see his kids. Now, why do I think that? <laughs> because he lives in America. <laughs> and that's just the way we do things here. So, like, am I really going to believe this girl? Like, because she clearly bullshitted about a few things, right? It happens all the time. She's five. I don't think she remembers the whole thing. No, she doesn't. Yeah, it's it's her mom telling her this. But, like, he truly had no hand in raising us at all. We uh -huh. don't speak with any sort of regularity. He doesn't but why know do you, But why do you think that is, though? My birthday is like as you guys saw in the video i posted he got it wrong he gave us some money growing up i like i honestly don't know the nitty-gritty of the financial yeah i don't know he gave us some money like i don't know it's like five million dollars I, mean, I, I i don't really know though i mean you know i i i don't i'm not getting into the finances situation I, I really really don't yeah but i do know that several times i've asked him for financial help with medical expenses like especially like in college and he wouldn't help me so that's what i was referring to in my <clears> video <throat> when i was like he wouldn't pay some of my medical bills i'll probably delete this in the morning but i'm you know two hard kombuchas in and so i feel the need to kind of defend me and my family's like pov bottom line is this guy was a completely absent father completely absent father uh -huh. he's like my i was just a bike ride away from those kids and it's like not once did any of us ever ever take a bike ride to his house. I don't think I've ever been in his house ever. So this whole thing is so bizarre. Yeah. Like, I'm so surprised that he responded to my video because I'm just like, damn, I could have actually made you seem like way worse than I made you seem. Like, in my video, I just made you seem like such a whimsical, funny guy. Like, but in real life, it was actually a lot darker. So I'm so surprised that he responded to it. And it's obviously kind of hurtful and weird. But again, we don't really have a relationship. So... At the end of the day, it doesn't have a huge effect on me. It's just kind of a bummer for my family. And we're all kind of looking at this and looking at his response. And we're just like, this is crazy. If this is actually his narrative, it's like delusional. It's sad to see, like, because I think that, like, from her perspective, this probably is true to an extent. Like such a whimsy. Right? Because, like, I, I try to look at it from, like, I, I, I try to be, like, fair about it as much as I can. And so I think that she was probably raised with, like, this outlook on him by her mom. Because, like, I mean, the guy said, like, you know, it was it a mistake marrying her mom? Like, yeah, that's what her mom told her exactly. And also, like, I've, like, I mean, my parents were divorced. I was pretty lucky that, like, my parents had a pretty good relationship. I mean, overall, right? I mean, there would be arguments and, you know, my mom would be like, ah, oh, well, you know your dad. And my dad would be like, oh, well, you know your mom. You know, of course, right? But uh, they, they really did try to put in 100% to make sure that, you know, like I had as, as much of a normal life as possible outside of them being divorced, right? And so I saw both of them pretty regularly and it was not really that weird. But um, I think this happens with a lot of divorced families and it happens with divorced parents all the time is that like the parent that has custody usually tries to paint a picture of the other parent like they're a bad person. And so, like, I bet from her perspective, this is probably true. And that's what's so sad about it. I, th I think that, like, a situation like this is just so, it's so depressing that, like, you can have a person who, you know, like, I don't really know the dad. Maybe he's actually this terrible person. He doesn't seem like he's that bad of a guy. I mean, I'm not really sure. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of, that's what I would assume would happen because that's what I've seen happen many times in the past. What if he lied, though? Would you want to blind trust his words? Well, no, but I mean, like, $5 million. I mean, you're going to tell me that he gave them $5 million and she's putting the blame on him for not paying a medical bill? Like, what about her mom? What the hell is she doing? From my perspective, I see a rich, spoiled girl that probably through her connections has a job in Hollywood that she probably did not earn entirely on her own, who's now putting her dad on blast, who completely paved the way for her to have that life, both financially and socially, and she doesn't even realize it. Meanwhile, her mom is probably feeding her lies, and she puts the responsibility of paying her medical bills that, by the way, whenever she's in college, she is an adult. She should be accountable for herself. 
but she puts the accountability on her father who already paid the family out 10 or sorry 5 million dollars uh big a lot of assumptions i mean these are I, I don't think there's a lot of assumptions here okay i think there's only like one or two what do y'all think y'all think i'm right what do you think you think this is accurate or what there it is yeah i i think i'm i think i think i'm right seen a lot of these situations too there are a lot of this is the reality right is that i think that there are a lot of girls that are out there and they are always looking for a way to be a victim they are and i think that it is especially true for people that are not already part of a of a victim class so i see especially like this is just like a random white girl so she's looking for a way that she is oppressed. She's looking for a way that, you know, she can, uh, you know, take part in the shared trauma with other people on the Internet. I think it's fucking pathetic. I do. My trauma. She wants to fit in. Yeah. And I know this might be kind of an unpopular or politically incorrect take, but I think it's fucking true. And I see it all the time. It's insufferable to me. Absolutely fucking insufferable. Getting a $5 million settlement, having your dad pay $18,000, $12,000 a month for child support, and then calling him a deadbeat dad that ran off on you? Get the fuck out of here.